the energy companies have to fight hard to get customers, so they're all offering the latest tariffs. Okay. I don't think it's like that in the, in the states, in some states. So therefore, if you want to have full value of your solar, now many more people are going to have to install battery storage, which is why we're doing so much coverage on all these different battery systems that are available. Now. So self-consumption. So self-consumption is the, is the, the new way. model, right? That's why so many yeah. more people are doing battery. People that install solar panels in the UK, what percentage are installing battery storage oh, attached with that? Near 100% Almost now. Almost everybody. Yeah, okay. yeah. The smarter way to go solar. Hey guys, so we're here at RE Plus in Las Vegas, and I just ran into Gary Waite from the Gary Does Solar YouTube channel. He's one of the top solar YouTube channels, if not the top That's in, too much, in, too the, much. in the UK. But, uh, you know, Gary, one of the things that we've, we've seen this year yeah. is that a lot of international companies are now coming into the U.S. market, uh, particularly uh, battery storage companies. Yeah. But I, I think one thing that the U.S. audience might be surprised to know, know is that the, the European solar market is about 10 years ahead of where we are in terms of maturity and adoption. I think that's why you've seen a lot of companies, yeah. like you had mentioned, you, you checked in on SIG Energy, uh, but you've seen a lot of companies that have had a lot of success in Europe that are now coming into the US now that everything seems to be going more towards batteries yeah. here in the US. But what, what caused you to want to come and attend our, our solar conference this year? Well, actually, uh, it was really two people. And I did an interview with Martina at Solar Time USA, and I've watched all of your videos. So you've actually given me a really good indication of what the US market is like. I knew this show was on. Uh, I'm actually going on holiday after this. So I thought I'd pop by and come in and use this time to uh, hopefully meet people like yourself and just get a feel for the US market because you're right. It, is, it does seem to be very different from the, the market in the UK where I live and in Europe and even places like Australia. Um, we, we seem to have a more uh, devolved sort of uh, market, so the energy companies are all competing with each other. So you might have about 10 energy companies in the UK, which gives consumer choice, which means the energy companies have to fight hard to get customers, so they're all offering the latest tariffs. Okay. I don't think it's like that in the, in the states, in some states. Um, most, so I wanted to understand it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, most states here, it's not on a statewide basis, but you, you typically only have one power company based on your geography. So it's a monopoly. So it's a monopoly. Yeah. It's a state yeah. It's a state sponsored or it's a local government sponsored monopoly yeah. in that territory. Uh, and of course, what we're seeing is that a lot of the utilities now are no longer offering a full buyback program. I believe you call it a feed-in tariff. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but it, basically, we, yeah. we used to be able to export electricity at the same rate as when you import. Yeah. So it was just a one-for-one -one buyback. And that's what you called net metering. That's what we call net metering. Right, okay. Right. But now what we're seeing is, is that the, the, the utility companies are not offering the same buyback. So therefore, if you want to have full value of your solar, now many more people are going to have to install battery storage, which is why we're doing so much coverage on all these different battery systems that are available now. Right, okay, so in the UK, um, we used to, what we call solar export, okay. and you used to get paid maybe, if I do it in cents, maybe about seven cents per kilowatt hour, okay. whereas you were buying for maybe 30 cents. Okay. But now it's gone up, so it's probably about 18 cents for any for every kilowatt hour that you export and you're buying at about about the same amount. So it's actually still quite high. Um, but I have a feeling we're gonna follow the US and those rates are just gonna go down and down and down, the export rates all the time. Whereas the import rates, the, 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 what you pay for electricity is just going up. Right, uh, right. What are you seeing in the States? Is, that, is it the same or? Well, actually what you described is, is kind of like a two for one buyback. So you, yeah, have, you have to send right, them yeah. two, you can yeah. take back one. That's not so bad. Yeah. But but what we're seeing here is that there it's it's more like five or six to one oh, right. ratio, oh, yeah. right? If, you, know, okay. if you want to sell to the power company, you're selling them five or six kilowatt hours during daylight to just take one back during the evening. So self consumption. So self consumption is, is, the, is the, the new way. model, right? right? That's why so yeah. many more people are doing battery. Yeah. Now, what what percentage would you say people that install solar panels in the UK? What percentage are installing battery storage oh, attached with that? Near 100 percent. Almost now. everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, partly because the battery technology is a lot cheaper and we don't get as much sun as you have in many of the states here. So when we get the sun, we can't always use it. So we, we need to capture it somehow so that we can use it later in the evening and things like this. Uh, but yeah, pretty much everyone who gets solar now in the UK gets a battery to go with it. And as battery prices are coming down, which is great, so hopefully more and more people will get solar. It's quite popular in the UK now. I think the uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say half the people have got solar, but maybe 
we're getting to the point now where in on the S curve we're we would start to ramp up quite high, which is great news, you know. So just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Interesting. I mean, here in the States, I think it's it's about 6% of US homes have solar panels installed. Right. It okay. might be slightly higher than that now. Yeah. But what we are seeing is that, that the battery attachment rate is much higher now. I say, oh, good. Yeah, right. Because of the, the need for that self-consumption. Right. So I, I like that personally. I've been advocating for battery storage, you know, for over a decade. Yes, you have. Um, yeah. Mainly for self-sufficiency reasons. But now, now there's real a financial case to be made. Yeah. Why it makes sense to install batteries with your solar, especially as prices are coming down. Right. And talking about prices, I saw in one of your recent videos, there's a solar uh, tax credit, which I think is disappearing uh, towards the end of this year. What effect is that going to have on the market? Because it sounds quite quite a tough one, I think. It, it yeah. is, it is. So right, right now we're, we're in the rush before the crash. People that are scrambling to get the system installed this year. Right. Okay. But you know, what, what, we're, what we're expecting to see is a 25% reduction in demand okay. as we go into early 2026. So right. it's going to be tough for solar installers to, to adjust to that, yeah. that lower volume of business. But there's, there's still going to be people that want solar because they want it, even without the government yeah. assistance. Yeah. And if you know, we were, as we were talking about earlier, if we, if we can work some of the extra costs out of the system, if we can get rid of some of these dealer fees, if we can yeah. limit limit the excessive sales commissions, yeah. uh, and you know, with companies like Sig Energy lowering the equipment cost, hopefully we can still pass along a very cost competitive yeah. solution. So there is a the way homeowner. forward. Yeah. Sure. And, sure. And actually, one thing I wanted to talk to you about: we don't really have this in the UK air conditioning <laughs> but in America it's standard everywhere right. but isn't that a great way to soak up all that solar generation that a customer might have during the day so they don't need to export it do they a, yeah absolutely yeah. especially if, if your system is designed properly you know yeah. you, you can design your solar system to maximize production during the, the the afternoon hours when the air conditioning tends to work the hardest yeah, yeah. if you have a western oriented solar array it's going to be producing the most yeah. solar during those hours so it's great for self consumption that's perfect yeah. yeah so in the uk and parts of europe heat pumps are becoming more and more popular so most of the houses in the uk are supplied by natural gas okay um, and i think now there's a shift towards heat pumps it's a bit slow but i think it's starting now and of course, we won't have air conditioning with that. It's purely for heating, which I think the government's being a bit short-sighted because the climate is warming, uh, even in the UK. Um, but it's good to see, you know, the technology is improving all the time. Costs are starting to come down. And of course, when that happens, it just enables the market, doesn't it? So um, I think it's going to be a good year. Hopefully some more content for my videos going forward. And uh, yeah, so what it, maybe I could ask you a quick question about the show then. What are you looking to find out? Because you're you're a natural at these shows. You attend a lot. Um, well, yeah, we go to at least you know two or three large conferences like this every year. Yeah, and you know that that's the nice thing about technology, Gary. It's it's always changing. It's always improving. Yeah. So there's always new content to, to create <laughs> yeah. as far as the latest and greatest products. But I think that the one thing that I'm most anticipating is finally seeing a, a market ready bi-directional EV charging right. solution. Okay. And I know SIG Energy is working on yes, one, right. yeah. Solar Edge is working on one, Enphase is working on one. Um, but I think, I think the market is ready for that. Right. Is this idea that if I have my electric vehicle and I've already invested in my electric vehicle battery, yeah. I want to be able to plug that into my home and utilize that battery yeah. in, in many different applications, whether it's for backup power, uh, for export to the grid, for grid yeah. arbitrage, but whatever it may be, I want that vehicle to be an integrated yeah. part of my, my home's energy yeah, system. because it's an asset that you've got, yeah. so why not use it for other things than just driving? Yeah. yeah. Now, do you do you drive an electric vehicle yourself? I do. We've okay. had one for about a year now. We absolutely love it. So what do you, what do you have, Tesla? Or? No, no, it's a Kia e-Nero, so it's a... Kia, okay. It's, it's not one of the newer cars, but I would like to get a Tesla. I quite like the, the new Tesla Model Y, um, okay. so I'm looking at that. Um, but yeah, we love it. We just love the whole experience of driving and it's very, very cheap to run. So to give you an idea, in the UK, um, it's about 
three cents per mile, something like that. Mm. That's what it costs, which is nothing, you know? So we love that aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And of course, you know, as, as the, the, the trend towards electrification, you mentioned heat pumps, but yeah. also electric vehicles, all that's going to just create more demand for electricity. Yeah. So I think I think solar has a bright future. I think it, it makes sense. Yeah. Here in the States, I think it's going to feel like we're going over a bit of a road bump with the policy change yeah. this year. But I think that that's that's the way everything's going. Yeah. You know, no, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Well, a pleasure to meet you, Joe. Yeah, Gary, thanks yeah, for coming on the channel. Have a great time at the show. Yes, yeah. you as well. Thanks. Yeah, yeah thank you.